Diablo. Diablo. Nah, mate. Now I am definitely hearing, like, a screaming. Nah, no, what is that? Is that just my eyes or is that a cross? 100%. It looked human, like tall and thin. Who are you? It's almost like that's threatening. Get the shit up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! For the final episode of this series, we've decided that we had to return to Canuck Chase Forest. Our previous investigation here back in 2020 took us all by complete surprise, where we documented some downright bizarre yet incredible evidence of what we can only describe as paranormal activity. Ever since releasing that footage, it's been made quite apparent that you've wanted us to go back. So now is that time, and with the sun beginning to set on this late October afternoon, we once again begin our long trek into the depths of this huge forest. But before that, we had to decide who will be doing tonight's fear experiment. So here we are, we're back at Canuck Chase, it's the finale of season two. We're going back deep into this very haunted forest. What happened here last time was crazy. Is it going to happen again tonight? We'll see. But because we can only carry so much stuff with us, we've decided to do the box opening right here, right now. Yeah, so that means that one of us is going to be spending the whole entire night until sunrise for this experiment. Yeah, and we're going to be kind. Whoever it is, it's going to have a one-man tent. So, <laughs> just in case it rains. Yeah, yeah, that'll make it so comfortable. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not going to be nice. Should we do this? Yeah, let's do it, man. I'll go first. This is going to be the ultimate fear experiment, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it is. I mean, you know, creepy woods, night time, aliens. <laughs> nah. <Pe> people. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right. Oh. Right, okay. Okay. Three. You ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> Right, here we go then. Yep. Obviously last time we had so much stuff going on, but the problem is we don't really know where we were. No, that's just it. I mean, really, you know, there is no actual indication of paths anywhere. It's just kind of like leads off into the abyss, doesn't it? How long do you think we were walking for before? I don't know. I think easily was in, like, you know, walking around for at least two hours. Lost. Easy, easy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how we even found a way out there that night. Pure luck. Yeah, it's pure luck. Literally is. But well, we brought a uh, compass with us, haven't we? Yes. We do. Some people commented, didn't they? they saying, did. you absolute idiots, <laughs> why did you go into a forest with no means of getting out? Yep. I.e. a compass. I'm quite excited but apprehensive because last time so much stuff happened that we couldn't explain. 
Yeah, I mean, this is what worries about this place. It's like, yeah, just the whole alien scenario. Hmm. Like that red light and stuff last time. Red yeah. light. It literally flickers on and up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sounds of sci-fi. It's just weird, strange stuff. Yeah. I don't know, man. For me, it's more the bear thing. Yeah. Like, they literally sound like a bear growling. There is a lot of ambient noises here. I know. So we need to just be like, um... Whoa! What the f was that? Yeah, and there was well... no bears around. Like, what was that? I don't know. What no, made that? It was really close to us. Not only that, you got obviously the black eyed children as well. Yeah. We heard what sounded like a laugh, didn't we, towards the end? Yeah. I mean, I mean, you said this, Owen, could it have been like pigeons, like making the cooing noise? I don't know. Hmm. Would you really get pigeons deep in the woods? Just like ex like exhaustion well, sick. Just like really kind of. Whoa, 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 whoa! Like deep in the woods. Yeah. You'd know. think they'd be scared off by us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It was the only rational explanation I could give for that. Well, we'll see what we find tonight. So what time are we on now? About six o'clock? I yeah. think that's about the right time. So the sun is starting to drop now. We're just going to get as far as we can, see where we end up. After walking a further 45 minutes, we came across a wooded area that didn't seem to fit within the current surroundings. It was almost like it had been plagued by something evil there was a clear line from where it starts. It was as if anything past that line had just died. So this is where it's starting to get interesting. Oh shit. I don't remember this from last time. No. This, it looks like it's just about to get like hellish. It literally looks like a cursed dead wood. Like literally. When you step over this line here. Guys, check this out. Look at it. It's like this section of the wood is just dead and cursed. Yeah, you're right, it's like a line. And we're just about to cross that line. Yeah, it's if it's some kind of like weird energy disturbance or something. You're like a Shit. force field of like. Yeah, that's yeah. what it looks it's like. It's like the cutoff point is there. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Perhaps this is where the uh, spacecraft hover over, burnt yeah. it out radiation. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit eerie. This is still with a little bit of daylight as well. Yeah. It's just dead quiet as well. Yeah. You're right, it is like unusually quiet as soon as you step in here. Yeah. That's like suppressed. Yeah. Like it's got its own soundproof. Yeah, that's it. You're right, man. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. See, now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. No. <laughs> no one will hear you scream. Yeah, basically, yeah. This is definitely the eeriest woods I've been in. I mean, I don't hang out in woods often. <laughs> no, but it is like stuff of nightmares, right? It is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? So, as we walk through here, then, why don't we whip out Alice? Start doing a bit of Alice box session. Yeah, man. Oh, let's try let's that. Let's do it. It's good. Him. 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 Okay. Who's him then, that? Is somebody here right now trying to communicate with us? What's that? Question. 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 Well, what was that a minute ago? Um, I felt like there was movement. Like, really? Yeah, like... What? Have you got a question? Anyway. We're listening. That was really weird. 
I can't say I heard it. The thing is, it's so dead quiet in here, mm. you're going to hear yeah. stuff. Do you know what it sounded like? It sounded like something, like, like, something was put down, like... Phew. Yeah. But where would you make that sound in here? It's all like, you know, it's all grass, soil. Doesn't make any sense. I told you, man, like the landing gear of the spacecraft. <laughs> 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 you never know. It's when you start hearing... <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a question for us? It seems you may be able to use this device that Carl's holding. Let's just keep moving. Boom. Diablo. Diablo. Nah, mate. And this is the thing, man. Saying about the black eyed children. Yeah. Are like demonic, demonic kids, because obviously they were murdered here. And obviously Diablo, meaning the devil. Satan. So it said him, question. Guys, this bit of wood isn't dead because the devil resides here. <laughs> 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 the devil's home. <laughs> that's creepy then, man. Yeah, that's weird. Do you know what? I've, after how long I've had this, I've never had that come through before. So really? that's interesting. Diablo, yeah. which is matching up with obviously people's reporting. They've seen all sorts of dark stuff here. Yeah, yeah. You know. We're just here tonight to speak to you. Could you maybe tell us wait, your wait, name? Wait, wait, wait. What's up, man? You heard that? Yeah. You heard it as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first it came... Who? Slave. Um... Slave. There was a big flash. Flash? Flash. Right in the back trees. I kid you not. No, it was man. like a big... You know, like a photo flash? Yeah. yeah. It just went really quick. Yeah. You heard it as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first it came... As well? Yeah, yeah. At first it came. You heard it as well. At first it came. Slave. Um, slave. What colour would you say? White. Just, just, just bright white. Bright white. It was like lightning, but in the woods. That's that's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we seen red lights last time. That's wow. towards it. Yeah. Feeling a little apprehensive, we walked deeper into the forest the silence was getting thicker, as if it was closing in all around us. What's up, man? What's up? Did you not hear that? What? It was all about a female woman. Voice? Uh, yeah. Didn't hear anything, man. Talking. You're joking? I heard it as clear as I'm hearing you. I'm hoping the camera picked it up. You guys not heard it? No, no. I don't, we should run an EVP here. Yeah. As soon as we heard the voice, let's run an EVP. Go for it, yeah? Let's do that. Is there a female here? A woman? Or maybe even a Diablo. Did you hear something? Yeah. yeah. Did everyone else hear it? Yeah, I heard it. It was like, at first it was like, oh, and it's like a... Hmm. Are we talking like distant? Distant, yeah. Right, like okay. Far away, like, did you hear it? Yeah. I did. It was like, in, in the distance, like, oh. Right. That was weird. But then again, like female. Yeah, what's female? Let's play it bar. Be quiet. Be quiet, it says. Be quiet. Really? Listen, listen. Yes, be quiet. Be quiet. Listen, Holy shit. Listen to this. Listen to this, it's time to be quiet. Listen. There. there. Oh, uh, yeah. Be quiet. There. Uh, be. Be. Oh, uh, yeah. Be quiet. Be quiet. That sounded female. Yeah, it did sound female. Be quiet. Female, eh? Be quiet. Be quiet. Is there something else? 
No. Oh, wait a minute. It's like, it's like, I thought he said no and then listen back to it. So kind of, it's like, it says, help. It's like, help. Listen. There. There. Help. There. Help. But it kind of sounds like a, a child almost, like, help. Listen. I can, there. I can hear from here. Come, come, come. What was that? Now that was a clear shout. There's, some, there's, God, there's someone. There's someone there. Just, just letting you know. Just seen someone run, run. Just what? Just down there. Just running. Well, mate, with everything that's going on, are you sure it's a someone? I just saw someone. I swear to God, right down the end. Just run past. What? All the way down there. Just run across. Now look, it could be a jogger, but. But we did just hear like a loud voice, right? Well, yeah, it was a scream first, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it sounded more, yeah, scream or an animal, but uh, it's going dark. You wouldn't think there'd be people here oh, other than doing what we're doing. And we are quite far it's in now. The creeps, cause Dude, we're quite far in. Didn't hear anything. Normally you kind of hear. Yeah? The yeah, jogging, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Literally nothing. I've just got a mad theory. Go on. We spoke about this before, the tears. We've seen the flash. We keep hearing the thuds now, like like this, like the like a sonic boom almost. Yeah, yeah. Is it like some weird oh. test of us? Like maybe, almost like a portal. So let's just recap that again in case people haven't seen the episode where we discussed it. I mean, it was you, Owen, that told us about it. But yeah. because of all the UFO activity here, yeah, is it a theory that the craft, in some way, that keep jumping between dimensions, assuming that's how they get here? Yeah are damaging the walls between the dimensions, the veils between the worlds, for another way of calling it. Yeah, it's almost like it's not sealing back up properly. Yeah. It's like all sorts of shit seeps through. Yeah. Um, that's the theory. Like I said before, it does sound very sort of film-like, sci-fi, but... It does, but the whole paranormal is just... It is, yeah. <laughs> I, was just, I mean, anything with the paranormal is, is, is you know, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. that's the word, possible, yeah. yeah. So well, mate, we still haven't heard anything else, so... I'd say that's pretty weird. Yeah. Darkness fell upon us very quickly. It was as if someone had dialed down the light to zero in a matter of minutes. Having just seen what looked like a figure run through the trees has made what we're about to do a lot harder as we're about to split up to cover more ground. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to get pretty dark now. So we're in the middle of this dead forest. Now, we've had a great idea, or a really stupid idea, to split up. Because yeah. Owen's seen down there. Yeah. He, he said a runner at first, but we've thought about it. We've been stood here, we've heard nobody. We're quite far into this forest now. Mm. It's getting dark, mm. they didn't have a light on. No, they didn't. It seems a bit odd, man. It's not quite right, is it? No. But the thing is, it didn't make no sound. No. You couldn't hear them. No. So... I'm thinking to go that way. You walk towards it? Yeah, so I see what the deal is, isn't yep. it? Respect, you go. Man. Yeah. You go. <laughs> you go free. I don't know why I just said that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head on. Straight in there. Okay, if Carl's going that way, I'll go behind us then. Shall I go that way? Sure. Yeah? It's just all there. Uh, Take our separate ways. Yeah. We've got our radios. Yeah. If we get lost, we've got our compasses, as recommended by our viewers. Yeah. Right. Wish your boys luck. Yeah. Okay. You guys luck. Oh my god, look at this place, guys. This place is like a film set for a creepy forest. Like, it does not get creepier than this. It's all dead. literally got to a certain point and then this whole the radius of this whole area is just dead but this is just there's a dead end down here it's a dead end what so they had nowhere to run 
No. Yeah, so I'm at the bottom now and it's just closed off. There's just nothing. It's just dense wood. There's no path, no nothing. It's at the dead end. Oh shit. 1,000%. I saw someone. 1,000%. Shit. Yeah, so even if you were supposed to, you know, running full speed for this place. She wouldn't even be able to run full speed because it's so overgrown. That's kind of freaking me out a little bit. That is really, really freaky. I, I don't know what to say. Let's try not to think about it too much, boys, and um, oh, carry on. Separate, let's see what happens. Okay. Now I am definitely hearing like a screaming. Separate, let's see what happens. Okay. It's like a weird screaming sound. Um, are you guys hearing like a... A screaming in the distance? Yeah, man, I was just saying that to the camera right now. Same. I thought maybe it's a dog, but either that dog's lost. Um. Or it isn't a dog. <laughs> or it could have been the cat. Did you hear that shit? Meow. Must have been the cat. But uh, you got to, uh, you got to sort of take your mind off this shit sometimes and have a laugh. I can't believe that what I saw was a person running in between the gaps in the trees that had a dead end. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? Just look at this place. So there's supposed to be black-eyed children here. Um, look, here's the thing. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with any thing, one, that's here. Just... <laughs> Mama. Oh my god, Mama. Just said Mama. Alright. If there's anybody here right now in this forest that would like to speak to us, I'm holding a box that should be able to hear your voice, hear your message. Could you first introduce yourself? Tell me your name. Hello? Hello? Did you just say hello? My name's Sean. Would you mind telling me your name? No, what is that? Is that just my eyes or is that a cross? In the tree? Elsie. Elsie. Is that your name? Elsie. Are you around me? Oh, my God, for that. <sighs> I started crapping myself in. It's just this. Giving it the illusion it looks like there's loads of crosses everywhere. I'll tell you what, I do not envy Sean doing the fear experiment tonight. Not one bit. So I'm going to try another EVP session now. In this section. Where Owen seems we're running. Is there someone here running around? Where are you running from? Hello, if anyone can hear me, I'm holding a device that can receive your voice if you shout into it. Is there anything you'd like to say? Help. It's his help again. This time in a, in a, in a, 
a disembodied breath though, it says help. Help, right there. Okay, this is really weird. So when I heard something, something was on the side of me there. There's something on the EVP. It's like, <sighs> like, like. I don't want to say it, but like, demonic breaths. There. Great. I just heard. I don't know the name of them, but those bells that um, Morris dancers wear, I just heard those. Why would I hear those out here? Why? I just heard. Let's carry on with the spirit box. Oh, voice out there. Hello, if anyone is around me right now, I'm holding a device that can let you speak to me. Can you speak to me? Out loud here. I can, I can hear footsteps. Check my compass actually, just in case. That was so weird. Right, okay, something really weird can happening with me now. I don't know if the cameras just picked this up, but there was a white mist just gone around my legs. Holy shit. Okay, this is... Things around my legs. Dude, what the hell? There's definitely stuff. I've just heard something like really weird as well. It's like, I really do. Uh, it's not like someone's in pain, like, oh. Yeah, I don't feel alone here right now, man. I'm freaked out, I'm not gonna lie. Right, I need to get them out of here. This is a bit worse. in this general direction. The reason why I'm standing here and not saying much, I just got this eerie sense of something is getting close. Oh, I hate the woods. I hate the forest. I hate it. Like. Guys, um, you, you cool? I'm like, just feeling a bit weird right now. <laughs> I'm going. Time for me to go. With not knowing how far apart we were, and with time getting on, combined with the fact that I couldn't shake this feeling that someone or something was within our vicinity, we decided it was best that we started to try and find each other. We knew Carl was close to where we first started, so it made sense for him to stay put while Sean and I made our way back to him. 30 minutes later, we eventually found one another. Given that there seemed to be activity in this general area, we looked for a suitable place to set up for the fear experiment. And not too far ahead, 
just on the edge of the dead forest, we found the perfect spot. Now of course the box had already decided who will be doing this experiment and for this time around thank god it wasn't me because there was something that I didn't quite tell the guys. What is that? <laughs> like seriously? <laughs> Dude, I said a one man ten. Okay, hear me out. So, there's supposed to be children here, like, spirit children. I thought right. that would entice them in. Yeah, but dude, I'm meant to be staying here, like sleeping here for the night. That can barely Whoa. fit one child in. Okay, I didn't think that through, did I? <laughs> the only comfort is you've got a little window inside. I'm happy about that. Mate, do you even get your legs in? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. There you go. Oh my god. Right, you're going then? We are. So, good luck. Thanks. Yeah. I'm going to want to need it. Yeah, you're going to need it. We're going to go back to the car, heating on. It's going to be good, put some chill music on. Hey, you've got to get back there, yeah? Yeah. Go back to the dead forest. We do, actually, that's true, we do. But it's not as bad as staying in the tent, come on. No. Like, if it goes wrong, you've got to get out of the tent, figure out what's going on, and then run for your life through the forest itself. So it's just like, yeah, I'd rather be walking through there, getting back to the car, tunes, you know, heater on. Yeah, man. Enjoy. We've got our radios on. If, if shit kicks off... Yeah, but how much have they been playing up tonight, like the interference? Mm, You're true. now going to be going further away than we have been. True. Yeah. We'll, do a we'll do a radio test. Jesus Christ. Good luck. Thanks. Fun, man. At least I've got shelter from this rain, eh? That's the only good side about this. Yep. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh. Do you oh. actually know the way back? No. <laughs> Welcome to my princess tent for the evening. It's now starting to hammer it down, so I am quite glad to be honest that I'm here in this very pink tent. Thanks, Owen. Well, one thing's for certain, there's no way I'm getting any sleep in here. Like, even if I wanted to, it's just not physically possible. But with everything that's been going on in that dead forest right behind this tent, I kind of wish that this window here was at the back so I could look out, but yeah, I can't. Curse we can't chase. Every time we come here, there's an unforeseen storm that appears out of nowhere. What was that? Oh my god. Already, it literally sounded like there was footsteps out there. And the leaves. And again. Hello? Oh my god, I'm not even five minutes in and I'm hearing what sounds like footsteps in the leaves. Although it would not surprise me if it's Carl and Owen. Um, I'm just checking, you guys have left me because I was hearing footsteps in the leaves. Yeah, we've left. 
Sorry, bro. Did you say you heard footsteps? Yeah, I heard about three footsteps in the leaves, distinct as anything. Less than 10 metres. As the storm was battering us with wind and rain, Sean sitting cosy in his little tent spent the next 30 minutes calling out, whilst myself and Carl was trying to find our way back to the car. Right, let's take some thermal readings. I just want to see if anything's around, like any animals or anything. I know how to get back to Sean. I've remembered the way, but I'm thinking we're going further away from the car. Yeah. Black eyed children. Are you around the forest tonight? We've heard you may have been asking for help. But don't be shy. We might be able to help you. Well, I might be able to help you now. What is that? Oh, it's going to be that wind me up in it. Lads, I can see you. Nice try. I can see you've just gone behind the tree. Nice one. It's scary enough without you doing pranks on me. What the f Was that you? What? Not not the croak. There was like this oh, massive mist that Is just it? went behind that tree. Got it on camera. <sighs> what the f Was that you? <sighs> what? At the time, I thought that this mist type anomaly was near the back of the tree. On checking the footage, it looks much closer, more like breath condensation, which we did experience a lot on the night. However, if you compare Carl's breath vapour to this anomaly, the texture looks different, and why is it coming towards us rather than away? Or is it the same type of mist that Carl experienced around his feet earlier in the lone vigils? Really? Yeah. That mean, that's what I got around my foot. Around your foot. Before. Yeah. I yeah, nice try, lads. I can see you behind the tree, one of you. Nice try. What? <laughs> What's he talking about? Where's Owen? It's obviously Owen, then. Mate, Owen, Owen's like... Right here. What the <laughs> Guys, right. Are you being deadly serious now? Bro, if I'm honest, I wish we were because we're so lost. Honestly, it's not us. Right, I've got my I've got my radio pressed down, Cole. Holy <laughs> shit! Well, guys, I'm not even joking. You need to turn your asses round and come straight back because I'm getting a heat source. It's gone now, but it was like I don't know, 20 meters in front of the camp. As soon as I shouted over to it, thinking it was one of you, it's gone behind what I can assume is a tree. Now I can't see it. 100%, it looked human, like tall and thin. Wow. How weird is that? Tall and what? You, tall and thin isn't like it was an actual person hiding behind the tree. Wait, what the f 
Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing? Gone, aren't we? Someone just touched my arm. I think it could have been a deer. Maybe something's just touched my arm. It looked to me like it just sidestepped behind a tree. Right in the distance. I mean, it's pitch black. There's no lights on. I can't see. I'm only looking through this thermal camera. And I can't see anything now. But 100%, it was there. No, I don't realize. Something's just like grabbed my arm. Shit. You know, Owen Keeps, he saw someone earlier. And was hearing someone earlier. This is clearly that person. It looked like a person, guys. I'm not even joking. You need to. Whoever's out here in the middle of the woods at this time of night, in this rain and whatnot, they obviously aren't up to any good, are they? We're having some weird stuff happening right now as we speak. Okay, bro, we're experiencing some shit as well. Okay, um, we're going to turn around and um, try and find you. As much as we would have liked to have seen the fear experiment through to the morning, after hearing that Sean captured what looked like a humanoid figure on the thermal camera close to his vicinity was quite concerning to say the least, so we hastily made our way back to him. Is this you guys coming with the lights? Lads? Yeah. Shiny torches right over there. I haven't even got a torch. I've only got these pissing lanterns. Say again? The shiny torches straight in front. Over there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there's a big tree there, isn't there? Yeah. This tree? Yeah. Watch out, there might be someone behind there. Like, I've seen some Don't. You being serious? Is this? Yeah. Okay. It must be that tree. It, it was there and then it like hid behind something. There's no one here, bro. There's no one there? No. Guys, right, I'm telling you. I thought it short and human, but it looked tall. That's so weird. I'll have to review this. Honestly. Look. Can you play it back? Yeah. Look, here, look. This is it. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. That looks like a person, right? Right. It does. I weren't sure if it was a deer at first, because it could be tall, but oh, it looks like just behind that tree, watching me. And then, around now, I shout to it, thinking it's one of you guys. What the hell? Oh, man, what is that? There. That's, that's when I shouted to him. And look, oh. it's gone behind the tree. What the hell? Shit. See? What the that's hell? A, that's a person, right? Yeah. Mate, I don't want to say it, but that to me just looks like something like some sci fi horror film. It's like some little skinny alien. It's a neighbor. Now I've seen it, that looks like, it does look like a human shape. No. Dude, well, that's uh, worrying. It is worrying. But you guys are just being. Like, since I filmed that, I've had this trained on that tree. Really? You've not seen. You've nothing. You've not heard since. nothing. No. And you guys have just been there, and there's nothing there. So that, that I can't get my head around. But it's the fact that it's like, the hot spot's like here, and it's like, there's a black spot in, and then obviously it's like, little heat signals going across, it's like dead thin. Like really tall and thin. We'll have to blow it off on the computer. Man, I really don't know what to say. No. Yeah, the rational side of me, you said you saw somebody earlier, and you were hearing them. Yeah. I just thought, They've seen the tent lights and, you know, they're watching, but... Yeah, but why would one person be watching? Uh, well, that yeah. That makes this just, like, a total unsafe experiment right now. Somebody did say in our comments on our last kind of chase video, apparently there is this crazy wizard that is out in this forest, lives out here. Mm. Could be him. Myths, legends. I don't know. That's He's just disappeared. Yeah, that's what I can't understand. I've been watching. I would have seen that heat signature if he he come out from that tree. That, that, Can I, I be honest? I, don't I think know what to say. look, I don't think it's safe for you to stay here. It's not very no. nice anyway. I think we should go. No. Not like, now. If that's someone watching. Exactly. It no means way. no good. No. Right. I don't know. I mean, what? The... I don't know what. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? I mean, what's going on? 
Someone just said go. What? Did you not hear that shit? It just went go. Somebody said go. This one. It sounded like it was right by the tree. Just went go. Guys, I don't. Yeah, no, we need to go. Someone just said, I swear the cameras will pick that up. So we go. You. Man. Go, guys, honestly, I swear on my life, I just heard something say, go. I'm sure these cameras would have picked it up. I you what, female, male? I, I couldn't tell. When you said go? Yeah. Like, so bad, right? Honestly, you just get like a really bad feeling of something. I'm getting a really bad feeling. After seeing that figure, bro, I'm just, I'm worried, like legit worried. Oh, man. I just heard someone say go. But there's no one here, bro. <laughs> I'm just. I don't know. I mean, what? I don't know what. What's up, man? Are you trying to scare us? Are you messing around? We've seen you. We know you're here. I'm not feeling too good. I don't know. You feel so surrounded here, don't you? Yeah. After seeing that and hearing go, seriously. Who are you? I know we're here to do a job, but I feel almost like that's threatening. Yeah, it's like do you know what I mean? What the f***? What was that? Is someone throwing something? Dude, I heard it. I heard. I heard movement to the right. I heard movement. Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh, Jesus get the oh, shit up! Get up! Go, 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 On reviewing the noise we heard that made us all run, we initially thought it sounded female, but on reflection, after listening to it back, it had a peculiar pitch to it, which sounded odd. Like our previous visit here, where we experienced various growls and what sounded like child laughter, to which we don't have a rational explanation for, did we experience the same type of phenomena? And what struck the tree moments before? Yes, we could speculate that this could have been an animal, or simply just a weak branch that fell due to the winds in the storm. However, the speed it rushed through the branches, combined with the prominent thud as it hit the ground, sounded as if something was forcibly thrown. Someone throwing something. Adding to this, and probably making the situation a lot worse, what on earth did Sean capture on the thermal camera? Upon hearing his encounter on the radios gave me the chills, as we were at least 30 minutes away from his location, so we knew it wasn't myself or Carl. Looking at the thermal cam footage, we are 99% sure that this was not an animal, as it didn't seem to get startled. If what Sean was seeing was the front profile of a deer or a stag, you'd think it would run away, and we'd be more than likely to see its full form. But this is not that, it seemed to have intent, as if it was staring back at Sean, curious to see what he was doing there. When Sean called out, it moved behind the tree, as if it realised that it has been spotted. This is downright bonkers and somewhat scary. If this was another person, then how did they escape without being seen, as Sean kept the thermal camera trained on that same spot for a while? So if this wasn't a human, and it was not an animal, then would a spirit show a heat signature? We don't think so, and with that in mind, thinking out of the box and complete speculation, we now know officially that we may not be the only intelligent race in our solar system. And for centuries, there has been thousands of reports of otherworldly beings spotted all over the world. And we know that Canuck Chase is renowned for its UFO sightings. So it made us think when Carl mentioned that it looked tall and skinny, almost alien-like, was this that very thing. It just looks like some, like some sci-fi horror film, it's like some little skinny alien. The paranormal isn't just about things that go bump in the night. 
We must have an open mind to the possibilities that there are things going on around us that are beyond our comprehension, but close enough that every now and then we capture sight of it. Let's also not forget when we first entered the area, the Alice box said him. When we asked who him was, it replied Diablo. And before our lone vigils, I saw what looked like someone running not too far from where we were standing. But the eerie thing was, we didn't hear a sound. It was close enough that if it was someone jogging, you'd hear them running. And to add to that, because if that wasn't creepy enough, when Carl investigated that exact same spot, it was a dead end. No trail whatsoever. And what was that mist-type anomaly that Carl experienced round his feet? The footage shows something moving away from him, similar to the texture of the mist that Carl and I experienced later that night. We don't think it's breath condensation as the two look totally different. Perhaps Carl's theory was right, and those tragic murders that happened here all those years ago has contributed to conjuring something evil that is getting ever stronger. Through the day, like most forests, Canic Chase looks peaceful and inviting, and is visited by thousands of people yearly. But at night, when you're all alone, things change, and it shouldn't be taken lightly. After all that said, we must stress that if you go down to the woods at night, you better not go alone.